What's up, friends? Uh, you guys know that the last few months have been crazy. I mean, it's been wild. And not just because we uh, launched a new church uh, south of town, Anchor Bible Church. Shout out to our friends down there. Uh, so excited about what God is doing uh, at that church and through this church uh, for His glory. Uh, it's been crazy, not just because of that, and also not just because uh, we helped to start a new coffee shop here in town. The coolest coffee shop in town, in our view, right here in Havelock, 1893 Coffee and Cream. By the way, uh, you'll be watching this on Saturday, and I'm told that on Saturday, it will be 20% off the holiday Oreo frappe. It's not coffee, um, but as frappes go, I'm guessing the Oreo one is pretty good, so you might want to head down uh, there. So it's been wild, a lot of new, um, and yet that's not the only thing that's been new for me. You see, a few months back, I started studying an Old Testament book ahead of a preaching workshop that I'm a part of every year. And the Lord just kind of blew it up for me and tweaked my world yet again. All last year, I have been planning uh, to go in 2024 back to the Gospel of John. Uh, right, we, we looked at John 1 to 12 in 2022, and I had planned to go to John 13 to 21 in 2024. But when I started studying the book of Exodus, the Lord just blew me away. I was blown away by the book, not just because it's an epic story um, with a lot of action and adventure, and not just because it's a pivotal moment for the people of Israel and really kind of a touchstone to help us understand the entirety of the Old Testament a little bit uh, better. And not just because it reveals our, our own hearts, our sinful hearts, and our need of God, and not just because it reveals the glory of God in astonishing ways, but also, in addition to all of that, it shows us Christ. It points to Jesus in incredible ways. And I got to thinking, like, how cool would it be if we took the time to walk through the book of Exodus and saw all of those pictures and portraits that point to Christ, and then we went to John chapters 13 to 21 and saw it fulfilled in real time. So that's what we're going to do, and we're going to start it this Sunday. In fact, we're going to get a, a bit of a head start, a little bit of a jump on 2024, by spending Christmas in Exodus, and I'm convinced that over the next three weeks, you'll see why. Um, one final thing that I want to point out is that on Sunday, uh, when you come in, if you like these journals that uh, have the text and a blank page for you to take notes right beside each text and, and even perhaps make notes on the text itself, we will have those available to you guys free of charge. So. Uh, each style will be available to you again. So very excited to dive into the book of Exodus with you. And I trust that God will use it in our lives and God will continue to grow us in our love of him and uh, our usefulness for him here. Love you guys. Bye.